So this is the bracket I made for the transducer. Uh, it mounts to the three existing uh, screw holes that held the back of this swim step together. And uh, what I did was replace the bolts with some M6 all-thread rod. What I have in here now is kind of temporary because it's uh, I have stainless steel nuts that I ordered, but the stainless steel all-thread didn't come in yet. So uh, this is just some galvanized I have on here. When the stainless comes in, I'll replace those. The ones I used uh, that I just bought were 100 millimeters uh, long at Rural King. And uh, they could probably be a little shorter, about 90 millimeters long. I'll have to trim the new ones when I get them. I just ordered those from Amazon, and they're delayed due to the, due to the corona. But I made this bracket out of some three-quarter inch uh, stainless steel square tubing I had. I stick welded it with some stainless welding rod. You can see the welds there. And uh, basically the idea is I want the transducer to strap to this thing, just like it's made. Uh, it's made to strap to a trolling motor. It's got some little slots in it. I've just got it temporarily tied up here. And I'm going to put a cable tie here under the uh, through the mounting hole and that should keep it from sliding and then and then one or two more in these other holes and uh, that should secure it pretty well I think it'll be a lot more stable than the um, than the little swivel mount that it comes with the other problem with the swivel mount was that right here the bracket uh, actually didn't fit here it would uh, to get the the transducer where it needed to be the bracket would stick out into the into the stream a little bit there so um, the one uh, risk with this whole setup is uh, I'm not sure you know I, I did some checking and a lot of measurement to try and get this transducer at the right level but we will see uh, how well it works once we get it on the water um, here maybe this view you can kind of see a little bit of uh, where the transducer is relative to the back of the boat Okay, I've picked the spot where I'm going to put the hole for the transducer. So I'm going to try the backwards hole saw thing. So I'm going to drill the hole first with the pilot hole. I don't want it to bust through. And then, while I'm going forward. Try and get it tight. It doesn't just break loose when I start going backwards to score the top here. All right, now I'm going to go to forward. Yeah, it went through all of a sudden. All right, so I'm going to clean up the hole, and the plan is to use this rubber cork I got from Lowe's. I drilled a hole in it for the transducer wire, and I split it so I can put it on the transducer wire this way. Get it in there. I used a drill bit the same size as the wire, but drilling rubber, the hole never comes out quite as big as a drill bit so there's the fit that I got and then uh, I'm just going to squeeze down as I push this plug into the hole so that should protect the wire and seal the hole I've got the hole drilled I've got this deburring tool I'm going to try and clean up the hole a little bit especially uh, the inside it's got some strings in there let me see if I can get in there. Get those fiberglass strings cut off. <laughs> I 
Okay, well that's not perfect, but that rubber cork is going to uh, that rubber cork is going to protect the wires anyhow going through there. So here's the cork again. Let's check the fit in the hole. Well, it's be better if it was a little bit tighter, but. Uh, Maybe I'll put some cement on there or something to keep it from going through. And it will be a little bit tighter with the cable in it. How about that rooster? Okay, I'm going to do a little test fit of the wire. You can see I've got the, the rubber plug in the hole. It's a little better fit with the wire in there. And uh, so here's the wire going to the transducer. And I cut some notches in this cover piece, this corner pad to go up so the uh, you can see here this lip actually comes right against here and tight against these two fins so I had to cut a deep slot here and a shallower slot in the other two fins so we make it through here because this this bottom lip overlaps the bottom of the uh, seam here so let me try that I'm gonna pop the wire into those grooves Trying to get the length about right. Get it popped under the cover here. And yeah, it looks like it fits pretty good. This cover has has a little little bit of a gap at just about everywhere underneath except for, for where those fins are where I had to cut. So, yeah, that looks like it'll fit right on there and, and uh, hide the whole thing. Okay, to route the cable, I'm going to attach it to these clips. So basically I'm going to take... cable tie, route it through the little rubber tabs on the clip. This clip is for the, uh, the hold down screw for the deck plate. And then I'm going to just pop the clip back into place. scared me. <laughs> 